Welcome back to the show. Musical theater powerhouse Adrian Warren won a 2020 Tony Award for her electric portrayal of the queen of rock and roll in Tina, the Tina Turner bio musical. On Friday, Adrian will return to the stage, this time at Carnegie Hall, alongside the New York Pops, and will pay tribute to Tina. Adrian is with me now to tell me all about it. I cannot wait to see the show. <laughs> Friend. This is a big moment for you, my friend, oh, Carnegie Hall, solo show with the Pops. Huge, huge, huge moment. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. You've been living with Tina's story, the music of Tina, yeah. for some time now. Mm -hmm. I remember interviewing you in London when you were first doing the show before you came over to Broadway. Oh, that's right. Made such a splash, remember? I mean, yes. Talk to me a little bit about getting to know the late, great Tina Turner. You know, I think there's this saying of don't meet your heroes. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the case when I got to meet Tina Turner. Tina Turner was my mentor throughout the process in London and in New York. And she was just the most giving individual. She was so loving. She was so supportive mm -hmm. of my career, so supportive of me individually. And she just wanted me to shine as best as I could. And she gave me so much access to her life, so much access to her um, as I was preparing for the show. So anything I could possibly do to just continue her legacy and just continue sharing her music and her story to the world, I'm gonna do it because she gave me so much. Tell me about the first time you met her. <laughs> All right, so the first time I met her was in London. We were doing the presentation of the show, which is, if you guys don't know, the workshop or presentation, all the producers, everyone who's interested, who may be interested in the show, they come to a presentation of, of a workshop of the show. And I was told she would be there. And I said, okay, cool. I'm going to just concentrate on doing the workshop. But then she was sitting in the very front row, and I did not look at her the entire time until I got to Proud Mary and I said, you know what, if I don't move further <laughs> in this process, I need to at least be able to tell if I have children one day, grandchildren one day, that this happened. <laughs> so I looked at her during Proud Mary and she was just dancing along with me and I was like, oh gosh, okay, she's having a good time, she's having a good time, I'm not screwing this up. And uh, that was the first moment I actually got to see her and interact with her. And then afterwards, she was so kind and loving, and I just fell to my feet and just kind of worshipped her. So, so speaking of the Queen, yeah, what numbers are you doing? What can you share with us that you're doing on Friday night? I will share that a lot of songs that you saw me sing in the Broadway show. You can expect those to be in the show, but you can also expect some of those covers that we didn't get to put in the show, like maybe Goldeneye, like maybe Son of a Preacher Man. Those songs will be in the show as well. It's gonna be a fun night. There's something for everyone. And I've even got backup singers. I got my little eye cat, yes. Carla and Shanika will be there yes. with me. And we're gonna have a great time with Steven and the New York Pops. Adrian, you are the busiest gal in show business what? because you're doing Carnegie Hall. Yes. Then you're doing a show at the Carlisle. Yes. And then you're going into a Broadway show in the spring. So like, let's, let's hit that boom, first. Boom, boom, boom. You're doing it. The Carlisle, what's happening at the Carlisle? The Carlisle, my first residency at Cafe Yes, Checking New York dreams, boxes. New York dreams. I, I'm so grateful that I get to grace the stage. Elaine Stritch, we're talking about like some of the New York greats have played. Bobby Shore, Bobby Barbara Shore, Cook. Barbara Cook, like name them. Like, I've, the, there's a Rosemary documentary. I've, I've been watching the documentary. I've been reading the books. I'm making sure I am prepared <laughs> so I know what stage I'm on. It's going to be a brand new show with my trio led by my musical director, Michael Mitchell. We're making a brand new show. It's going to be jazz. There's going to be some holiday treats in there because it's also in December, so around the holidays. Fabulous. So it's going to be a great time. So come to the Cafe Carlo as well. <laughs> And you're going into the last five years. Yes. The Broadway premiere with Nick Jonas. Yes, I am. And this is a new take on the show. Whitney White is directing yep. and she's giving it a revamp, if you will, correct? Yes, the Jason Robert Brown classic that everyone loves. It has been loved for over about 20 years now. Mm. I'm so grateful. I couldn't believe that it hasn't been on Broadway yet. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. It's, I, I truly think it's one of the greatest scores written for the musical stage. Same. So when this opportunity came about, I thought, oh yeah, this is like a revival. And they went, no, Adrian, this is the first time it's gone, abroad, gone to Broadway. And I thought, oh wait, that's different. Okay, 
It's, it's such a responsibility. I don't take it lightly to get to bring Kathy to the last five years. I know a lot of people have waited for this, and I'm going to do my best and work so hard on this for all of you, and I can't wait to do it. Nick is the greatest partner, and Jason Robert Brown is one of the greatest composers of our time, really. and Whitney White is a talent that is just blazing through Broadway right now, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So promise me this, you'll come back on to talk about last five years when you're doing it? Um, Frank, yes. <laughs> okay. Always with you. Done I will done. be back. I'm the biggest New York One fan, so I will definitely be back. You can catch Adrian on Broadway in the spring, the last five years, in December, as we mentioned, at the Carlisle. And first, but first, with the New York Pops at Carnegie Hall on Friday night. It is time for a final break, but when we come back, it's musical theater camp to the max with the gang from the Big Gay Jamboree. And you won't believe which big time actress is a producer on the project. Come back after the break to find out. I was doing Titanic back in March and I'm like, guitar, I'm like doing Celine and I'm like, oh my God, that's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in the audience with the biggest smile who's just laughing. And then I was like, oh my God, that's Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.